Hey, Michaela. You there? So yeah, okay. Uh, we're gonna go through the norms and uh, get you started. So it's a lot of points out there. I uh, want you to read through. Uh, do all the norms, please. You say what, Miss Smith? I, I couldn't hear you. What did you say? You, you're breaking up. Are you on your phone or something? Or what's going on? Mm. Can you see the screen? Can you can you try to read the norms? I think, okay, so I want you to watch this recording, but your phone is not like letting you come through clearly. Are you uh, by a computer? Or, uh oh, she left. Mm. This is what I'm talking about. Can you hear me? Ms. Smith, you there? Yep, you can I can hear me. you now. You did better. I don't know what you, you just changed it. You did something. You're better. Can you uh, read the norms again? Because uh, you, you was all broken up. <laughs> no one has the right to have another person educate the classroom for sacred. We would never behave in a way that is better ourselves, our school, or our family. In the cell academy, self for student always act with integrity. We take pride in the cell academy, self for We respect the opinions of others. We respect the culture of the classroom. We are essential to participate. We have high expectations of ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. We are here to focus on preparing ourselves to focus on secondary endeavors. Awesome. Okay, that's way better. I think you, you changed something, but it's better because you was coming in all broken and stuff. All right, so GGI Townhouse, it's uh, daily, every day of the week. That's Monday through Friday. And uh, you get five to ten points for just participating in the provocative, as Mr. Stonewall would say, discussions uh, that they provide you guys with. Um, it's life skills, meaning when you got a high school, we're trying to make you ready for the real world. So it's 11.15, 11.45, about 30 minutes. And if you need the link, you can ask any of the teachers, including myself. Okay, these, these Raspberry Pi kits, uh, we, they're still available. And I'm, I'm going to let you know in advance, uh, Ms. Smith, you're going to need your kit. Does your kit work right now or no? Yeah. Okay, you're going to need it next week. So just be prepared. If something happens and it doesn't work, I'm in the building on Thursdays and Fridays. So you can see me and I can try to get it fixed or give you a new one. But uh, you're going to be using it on Monday. Just letting you know in advance because we're about to come to the weekend. This is Wednesday. All right. So schedule with the school to pick up one if you haven't already. Um, just for other students who may watch the recording. But if your kit is damaged, bring all the parts in and I'll try to give you a new one. Or if you have not gotten a kit, please schedule with the school to pick up one. And you can call Ms. Ball and Ms. Vega at the school to do so. All right, uh, Ms. Smith, can you read that? And this is tonight, actually. Every Wednesday and Thursday, learn to code from the convenience of your home and get extra credit for some of your classes. The pandemic's effect on the coding job market. Why learn to code to provide the broad benefits of code? Interesting. Okay, you did great. You did great. Let's move on. You're going to be reading the rest because nobody else is here. And yes, you get points for each one you read. So go ahead. Hello, um, my bad. Deadly test. This will be able to complete the evaluation that is. Hello, I was fine with students. Welcome to class. Inside of it, you can access all pre recorded videos in each class. These videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m. today. All right. Uh, one more because you're robotics. All right, go ahead, Miss Lady, the last one, and um, I'll explain how the class is going to go. Class on some of the days, electric field. What are the days? Diatic. How you say that? Di didactic. Try it out. Um, 
Mm-hmm. Today's objective, since we are to analyze the connection between electric field and electric potential. Very good, very good. All right, so with that said, let me jump into what we got to do today. If the computer lets me do what I need to do, there it goes. I'm going to have to put this computer down and put a new one up because it's running too slow. All right, uh, so I'm going to grab this. I'm just waiting for the computer transition. All right, yeah, all right, all right. Good, it's catching up. Okay, so we come to this part. I'm gonna have you read it for about uh, five points at most, just so you know. And we're gonna do what is called a data talk in a moment. Um, this is not fourth period. This is third period. Come here. Okay, let's click on that. Awesome. So this in uh, GGI and your street reporter, you see in the class view, because there's class view, my work view, and something else. But um, I try to be diligent in posting the GGI link and information so you can join GGI. So if you're ever looking for it, uh, around, I want to say, 11 o'clock, somewhere around that time, I'll be reposting it again. And it's always here. So you can get into GGI. And like I said earlier in the announcements, um, you get five to ten points for just participating in those discussions. So it's easy points everywhere. And I think I saw you there, maybe. But um, let me go to this part. And electrical engineers. And I got to post a YouTube link for you. I thought it did that. It didn't do it. See, last night, it don't always do what I asked it to do. I could contact them. It's like weird. I'm on ASB. I save links as opposed to save. It's a little bit irritating. Copy. All right. And put this in the chat, uh, Ms. Smith, and I want you to read it. Uh, here we go. Boom. New show. There it is. And okay. Uh, it skipped a part. Hold on. Copy that. And here we go. Hey, Ms. Smith, can you read from hello down to Zen? Hello, our future electrical engineers. Here is a video recording of today's class. Please, please review and complete today's do now. What's the charge review? Electric field, circle, 27, 4, 21. Please see attached video. If you cannot view such, please contact me via a messenger for assistance. The link for my Bitmoji classroom is stay safe out there as well. Very good. Very good. You got your five points. Okay, you got like 65 points so far. It's pretty good. Um, so give me a moment. I'm going to get the... Now, Mikhail, you know where to go for the library, right? Or no? Yeah. Okay, so you know how to pull up uh, old videos and stuff, right? I think. Thank you, oh Lord. <laughs> I mean, if I don't, I'll figure it out. Uh, okay, Makai. Um, So I'm going to put the link of yesterday's class. And I just want you to know that because all classes have that same um, effect where you can actually um, look at anything the teachers post for assignment and review it in case you forgot about it. So um, I want to real quickly for five points, I just want you to click on the link and let me know if it works. Can you do that? Yeah. Okay. Let me know when it works and it plays. We want to make sure it's accessible to you. Let me put this link inside of ESB as well, because for some reason ESB didn't save it. Um, it works. It works. Okay. Cool. All right. So that's the link from yesterday, and I want you to review it. Uh, the only thing you got to do, Mikhaila, for today's points, because you you up to eighty points almost now. Um, you have to put the word of the day into your document from yesterday. Do you still have that uh, document? Like what you worked on? Yeah. All right. So what I want you to do is, I'm going to put it on the screen again, the word of the day, is you need to look up the definition of didactic. You might want to put that in Google right now. Open a tab and 
search up what it means. And I want you to tell me for five points what that word means. You got it? Or you want me to show the screen? You probably forgot how to spell it or whatever. So this word here. Put that in Google and tell me what it means, okay? And for 10 okay. points, for what? 10 points, you could type it in the chat. So, if, you know, you can say it for five, but you get 10 if you could put it in the chat. So you choose which one you want to do. You want to just read it for five points where when you find it or you want to put it in the chat, the meaning. And if you put it in the chat, I'm going to read it, but you'll still get the 10 points. <clears throat> I'm just going to see if the definition is correct. I can't type enough. Oh, let me turn it on. I'm sorry. Here, one second. All right, how about now? Yes, no, maybe. Is the chat working? Oh, oh, it is working. Okay. Okay, so intended to teach, particularly in having moral instruction as an ulterior motive. Very good. Now, you understand, you got to put that in your document. Right underneath the word of the day from yesterday, just type word of the day again, dash, put didactic, and then that definition you just gave me. All right? Okay. All right, and then I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Well, we need 10 minutes to do it and check over your work. Did you turn in the assignment already? Yeah. Okay. We well, got to turn it in again. And I want you to show your screen uh, to show me, you know, that you did that. Okay. Since it's only you here, I'm going to have you show your screen and also do the data talk with you so you can like, because I wanted to pull you in a different room, but I mean, I think you'll be all right because uh, I don't want you having to wait too long and we're having issues logging into different um, rooms with students. I'm going to leave and come back on my computer. Okay. 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 All right, so I'm going to give you 10 minutes. Uh, oh, all right, she's going to come back. You made it back, okay. You're in your computer now, I guess. Mm, well, Kyla, you there? I see. Yeah. Oh, so you're in your computer now, okay. So, uh, like I said, you got eight more minutes to go ahead and put that definition in a document and then PDF it and we're gonna do your data talk and you're done for today, okay? So in eight minutes, I'm gonna check on you.
But you said put the word of the day in there and then what? Well, oh, that's it. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, so you got to put the word of the day underneath the word of the day of yesterday, right? Okay, that's it. And then you put the definition in there too. Did you do that? Yeah. Okay. Now, the next thing you're going to do is download it as a PDF and resubmit it, okay, under the same assignment for yesterday. I'll see that and that'll be credit for today. Uh, do you understand or no? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and do that. You got six more minutes and we can do a share out.
Okay, Ms. Smith, let's uh, get this taken care of. Can you read? Uh, oh, there's one thing I didn't do with you. Um, I want you to first share your screen. So let me make sure it's on. Almost forgot to do that because you can do that once we do that part. Got to make sure the share feature is on, though. All right, uh, Ms. Smith, uh, share your screen real quick. It should let you, even though I'm presenting. Just testing out the features, make sure they're working. I saw it working the other period. Let's see if it works here. So uh, share your screen real quick when you get a chance. There you go. Okay, uh, now Mikhail, I want you to go to Google Meet. We, we're gonna come back to that though. But you was right about that. But okay, now go to the chat. See the chat feature. Okay, and I want you to. Oh, you don't have it in there no more. Okay, I gotta put it again. One second. So earlier I had you read what was in Esby, and you can find it in Esby to my Bitmoji classroom. This is the exercise we're gonna do real quick. Let me copy this. Put this here for you. Hey, do you see uh, in the chat a link that I put? So the link for my blah, blah, blah. You see it? Click on that link for me. Very good, very good. I want to see if it loads for you. Now, do you know how to bookmark things in your uh, browser so you can come back to this daily? Oh, you know how. Check you out. Uh-huh. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, smart girl. All right, so click on present, please. You see the present in the corner there underneath sign in? There you go. Awesome sauce. All right, let it load. All right, now uh, you're going to be irritated with me, but you have to turn your mic on because I have you read something. So you got to switch screens once it loads, okay? Okay, so it's loaded, but you got to go back and turn your microphone on because you got to read something. And then you got to represent because it's not going to work if it's not in presentation mode. Okay, good. Go back to it. And um, waiting for it to load. Okay, good. Now click on me. I'm sitting on the chair, not the astronaut, me, the White Sox. Yep. That's my team. All right, good. Now, do you know what class you're in right now? You're in robotics. So you are a CTE student. So you see the big old CTE in the corner there? Click on it. All right. Now read that for me. That's on time of the day. So let you feel what it is. The didactic. You got today's it. Okay. Today's objective. This will use to analyze the connection between the electric field and the electric potential. Very good. Very good. Okay. And then um, you can stop sharing. You did well. Not stop sharing. I'm sorry. Let me, uh, let me correct myself. Go to your Edsby real quick. I want to make sure. It's working so we can get the data talk out the way. All right, so I see all your classes. Don't click on my class, but scroll down to it, okay? So scroll down. I don't see my class yet in the left-hand side yet. Okay, now do you see where it says my work? You got to hover over it. Don't click on nothing, but hover over my class. See the my work button? Click on that. I'm going through this with all the students every Wednesday. All right, so you know how to see your grades. That's good. And you turned in the assignment. All right. So you know your score. Do you have any questions about your score so far? No. Okay. So I want you to work on the 50% there. Okay. But you change your screen, but. Um, <laughs> uh, no, do what? Yeah. I, we still got to talk about your document, but I was going to say, you, you see what you got to improve on, right? Yeah, but it was late, so I don't know what you mean. Oh, okay, okay. So if it was late, that means I can still grade it. Now go to your document. That's the last thing you're gonna do. You put the word in there. You, I want you to show me how you did it. Okay, can you zoom in, Mikhail? Look, that's that's like a hundred percent. That's like really hard to see. I'm an old man. Okay. Very good. Okay. So did you you did you turn that into Esby? Like I told you. Yeah. You turned it in as a PDF, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, Ms. Smith, that is all I have for you. You did great today. Um, are you going to be at uh, Let's Code tonight or no? No. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you're free to go. You can come back if you have questions. Keep the great work, and I'll grade uh, what you turned in, and, and maybe your score will increase if you did it right. All right?
I think he did, though. But yeah, that's it. So have a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Um.